PW soldiers, welcome to Gatewala. Today, I am going to bring a good information related to Indraprastha University Common Entrance Test as well as Vellur Institute of Technology Entrance Examination. So, these two examinations are quite different from the gate examination. I hope all of you have completed your gate examination and waiting for your rank and getting for your score. But your preparation is already there in your mind. With that preparation, you can also appear these two entrance examinations which are going to come in the next month or the further next month. So, your preparation is definitely, gate preparation is a level of exam which can be applicable to all other exams. So, keeping that mind, I have brought you some important information about two famous universities which are conducting their entrance examination which is as far as equivalent to gate examination. So, kindly go through this session very carefully and please note down the important dates and try to visit the particular websites of these particular organizations and try to apply the entrance examination. First, I am going for Indraprastha University Common Entrance Test. What are the important points here? So, the most important point here is the Indraprastha Common University Test is also a computer based test. Just like a computer based test like our gate examination. It is very clearly mentioned there may be a negative marking for every incorrect answer, but it is not perfectly mentioned, but there may be mentioned, there may be a negative marking. And one more thing, for each incorrect answer, one mark will be deducted. That is most important. For each incorrect answer, one mark will be deducted. Incorrect answers will include wrong answers as well as those which contain more than one answer to the question. So, when you give an incorrect answer in which there are more than one answer, that means MSQ is also possible. For the MSQ also, if you give more than one answer, which is wrong answer, then also you are going to lose one mark. So, this is the one of the important difference between gate examination and Indraprastha University examination. So, I have taken only the key points, keep this in mind because your preparation is almost the same, the subjects are almost the same. But the only thing is the examination uh, pattern and the examination weightage and how the marks. Next point I want to tell here before applying this application form one important point I want to tell you. This common entrance test is given with respect to branch with a specific code. For example, computer science people have to apply with a CET code of 139. Next, electronics and communication people have to apply with a code of 140. So, when you are applying for these particular segments, the syllabus is what? For computer science, the syllabus is as same as gate computer science and information technology. Okay? And MTEC uh, EC is also same syllabus of gate electronics and communication. So, there is no much difference. So, whatever that you have studied for gate ECE and uh, gate CSC with the same syllabus, you can attempt this test. That means, what are the subjects of EC, analog electronics, digital electronics, okay, network theory, mathematics, controls, communications, electromagnetic theory, these all syllabus is same. So, very clearly they have mentioned. But importantly, you may be getting a doubt, sir, what about electrical students? Here there is a twist. In this Indraprastha University common interest test, there is one branch called REA. This is one of the important branch, robotics and automation. For this robotics and automation, different branches are eligible kindly will go for the attachment. The code for this is 156. So, a B.Tech graduate of electronics and communication, mechanical, electrical, instrumentation, applied physics also can apply for this particular branch. So, let us see step by step. So, these are the different branches. Of course, because of the space, it is not visible to you. Robotics and automation, how, how, which branches are eligible, I will write here. B.Tech CSC is available. Computer science and uh, instrumentation and control, electronics and engineering, ECE, electronics and communication, and electrical and electronics, mechanical and automation. Almost mechatronics is also eligible. That means almost all famous branches BTEC mechatronics, BTEC mechanical, BTEC electronics and communication, BTEC electrical engineering, BTEC computer science engineering, all are eligible for this particular course of MTech. Robotics and automation. 
but what is the syllabus sir yes i am going to get to that point definitely the syllabus is going to be a different syllabus because mtech btech csc students are writing btech mechanical students are writing btech ec students are writing btech double e students are writing so for those people the syllabus is entirely different and admission criteria there are two methods gate qualified in the discipline specified in the eligibility conditions with a valid gate score for the academic sessions 2022-23 is given as first priority that means those are having the gate score they are given the first priority and also CET qualified that means for non-gate category also can be taken under this code first preference is given to gate category and the second preference is given to non-gate category those who are going to get good score in this particular common entrance test now once again if you see other branches mtech in ec if you want to do mtech electronics and communication and mtech vlsi in these two branches if you want to do mtech again the same electronics and communication is eligible electronics and instrumentation is available instrumentation control is eligible electrical is eligible so all these students are eligible okay all of famous branches of ec double e uh, everything is ever, uh, eligible for the mtech eca and also mtech vlsi okay and same admission criteria is gate qualified in the branch of ec with a valid qualified score will be given first preference next preference for the cet test okay so if you have a good gate score then also you can apply for this branch and already your not gate qualified students also they are writing this test based upon this score also the admission will be there next some of the students are interested in nano science technology the code for it is 149 for this electronics msc btech electronics btech computer science btech electrical are also eligible and almost whatever the branches i have mentioned here all btech electrical ece electrical branches are eligible to write the paper and same thing gate qualified applicants will get first preference okay next non gate candidates will be shortlisted on the basis of merit list prepared by the university paper so please remember this point some of the cases gate qualified students may be going for the psus gate qualified students may be going for the iits nits in such scenario the non gate qualified that means those who have written this exam common entrance test as per their merit they will be getting the call letter so no need to worry that your gate is a nightmare i am in gate i am not at a good gate score but your preparation is there now that preparation you can apply to this particular common entrance test dear aspirants just i want to give you the syllabus especially for remaining all branches remaining all branches syllabus is same that means if you want to do mtech in ece mtech in vlsi mtech in uh, nanotechnology the syllabus is as per your gate ec syllabus gate double e syllabus but if we apply for mtech in robotics and automation there is a different syllabus so the syllabus first contains the mathematics so engineering maths is there is a lot of component of engineering mathematics is there here so this is part a and this is the part b okay so these all is the engineering mathematics syllabus okay so once this particular uh, lecture is over i am going to post this pdf also you can go through this pdf syllabus and in detail if you want to know you can log in to the indra Prasa university website also okay so it's a vast syllabus in mathematics why because in robotics we should know about kinematics of the movement of the robotic arm so for that the mathematical analysis is most important that's why they have kept more syllabus in the english uh, sorry mathematics next coming to the technical subjects engineering subjects the first subject we are having network theorem okay nt is there network theorem is there and the next engineering subject we have is electrical machines is there electrical machines so the mission syllabus you can go through and the next one is edc electronic device is there and the basics of measurement systems is there in the measurement systems we are also having transducers and mechanical measurement this is instrumentation branch related that means the robotics and automation mtech branch is massive collection of many subjects of different disciplines of engineering they have certain subjects from the ec they have certain subject from the double e and they have certain subject from the instrumentation machines comes under double e networks comes under double e and the edc comes under ece and measurements comes under the instrumentation and transducers comes under the instrumentation okay so these are the 
branch subjects and as usual control system is there specific topics of the control system is also i have mentioned here next and here the most important for the mechanical people it covers applied mechanics syllabus also so that means if you are interested to do this mtech in robotics and automation definitely you have to study this particular topics for this you have to go to the gate mechanical faculty and you have to see the mechanics syllabus and after this theory of machines is also there that means two mechanical subjects are being kept two mechanical subjects theory of machines and applied mechanics these are the mechanical subjects transducers comes under transducer measurements comes under instrumentation edc networks comes under electronics machines comes under electrical what a collection of these different subjects they have kept and they formed the admission test for this common okay and most important point i want to tell you please make a note of the dates the application registration starts from the march 4th and close sorry uh, march 4th and the closing date is april 30 okay so this march 3rd actually march 3rd midnight onwards this application process will be starting so for that you can go through this website www indraprastha university dot ac dot in so kindly visit just next four days itself the application process is going to be started so i request all the gate gate written students whether your gate is going to be successful or not successful but your preparation is already there that preparation should not be wasted so immediately you try to apply for this and if a chance comes please prefer these good branches but of course robotics and automation we need some planning we need to study some mechanical subjects also so for electrical student they have to study some mechanical subjects and mechanical student has to study some easy double e subjects okay so next this is the most important dates so mostly for gate ece communication mtech in communication mtech in vlsi mtech in computer science for this gate syllabus is gate syllabus is the standard okay if you are writing for ece so you are going to get ec gate syllabus if you are writing for mtech vlsi gate ec syllabus if you are writing mtech cse gate cse syllabus but if you have applied for mtech robotics and automation then you are going to have a collective syllabus of different branches that is the only difference and definitely there is a negative marking keep this in mind okay this is all about indraprastha common university examination common interest test examination march 3rd midnight onwards the application portal is open so try to go through that website and try to apply for that particular examination next next most important one more important organization that is the vellore institute of technology entrance examination so this is also from the south india chennai vellore institute of uh, indraprastha is near to our delhi but whereas Vellur Institute of Technology is near to South India, one of the famous private university, which is having massive collection of different interdisciplinary branches of engineering and minimum to minimum in MTech, there is placement starting from 12 lakhs to 40, 42 lakhs payments are available in this Vellur Institute of Technology and it is very much famous in South India for the campus placements. Let us see what is the basic pattern of VAT exam. First thing, VAT exam uh, qualifying, what is the prerequisites? One important point here I want to tell you. The passed out students can apply. At the same time, candidate appearing for the final year degree examination. Final year, final semester examination also, they can apply for this particular exam. But provided by the time VAT admission process starts, you should not have any arrears. You should have the BTEC degree in your hand. That is the condition. Okay. And condition 60% is required for your BTEC, whatever the BTEC you are doing. Okay. Next. Ah, coming to the examination pattern of VAT. Examination pattern of VAT. Double E. What is the examination pattern? Dear students, it is also CBT test, computer based test. Objective paper consists of 100 questions. 100 questions, maximum of 100 marks. There is no specific syllabus is mentioned for VAT exam. So kindly please go through the website. There is no specific syllabus is mentioned. So roughly gate syllabus only will be considered. There is no extra specific syllabus is mentioned for the VAT exam. EC people have to follow the gate EC syllabus. 
Double E people have to follow the gate, gate double E syllabus, instrumentation, gate instrumentation syllabus. There is no extra topics here. And with the students' feedback, what I came to know here is VIT exam is not that much standard like gate examination, not much calculative, very conceptual questions will come. Sometimes below moderate level only, easy we can say, but it covers almost all subjects. Okay. And 100 questions are there, 100 marks are there. In that, 80 will be from the chosen technical subject and 20 will be from the English and communication. 20 will be from the English non-technical and 80 will be from the technical subjects just like our gate examination, all the technical subjects. There are no negative marks. Please note down, in VIT entrance test, there is no negative mark. But in Indraprastha University, there is maybe a negative marking is mentioned. Until the question paper comes, we cannot say. In the application form they have mentioned, there may be a negative marking. But in Vellore Institute of Technology paper, there is no negative marking. Next. And most important date for the Vellore Institute of Technology is, date of examination is 23rd April 2023. Already application process is started. 23rd April 2023 is the examination date and 2.30 to 4.30 is the examination time duration. So, with respect to Vellore Institute of Technology Engineering, there is no specific syllabus. We can follow the gate syllabus, no negative marking and 100 marks paper, 80 technical, 20 English. This is the information we have. So, I suggest with respect to gate comparison, Indra Prastha will be closest to the gate examination. Vellore Institute of Technology exam will be not up to the mark of the gate examination. It may be in the range of IES paper, objective paper. I suggest all the aspirants of gate EC and gate EE and mechanical and computer science, recent 15 years gate papers and recent 15 years IES objective papers also you prepare and go. Most of all the cases, the concepts will be same repeated. So, APCA preparation, whatever that you preparation that you have taken up to the gate examination, please carry forward that preparation. You do not stop by the nightmare experience of gate electrical paper, whatever you faced. Of course, definitely every student may be in disappointment level. Please come out of the disappointment and again focus on your journey towards the next path. There are so many doors are open, especially in the month of February, March, April, May. There are so many doors will be open. If you are sleeping, you are going to miss the door. Somebody is knocking the door, do not sleep. Use your preparation to apply for all these exams. Just have patience and go through these exams. These exams are sometimes not that much standard with gate examination. Definitely you are going to crack the examination. So, with this, I am concluding my guidance on the Vellore Institute of Technology entrance test and Indra Prasa University entrance test. I wish you all the best for these two exams. We are waiting from you a good news about how you prepare this paper and how you appear for this paper. You please type your comments and type your feedback in the comment box. I wish you all the best once again to all the gate aspirants to write for this examination. Thank you one and all.